I'm always like recording or doing work in a different place. And that, that is because I don't exactly have stationary office for the podcast editing or anything. Like I'm always just out somewhere. So it's like wherever I can set my computer down, put my microphone up, that's where I happen to be working. There are times though, like whenever I'm at my brother's place and he has a home office, I'm like, home office would be kind of nice. <laughs> All right, so I may or may not keep this footage in there. It's really bright because of the window over there and the window over there. I did like lock onto a setting where it just made the room look like I was in a big white. This is kind of not natural. But yeah, I just wanted to rant about one. This is a Blue Yeti microphone. This is the one that I use for all my podcasting and if I happen to do any audio work for anything else, this is what I use. Like there is a vacuum running right now. There's noise outside. There is just air blowing through the vents. There's a lot of noise, but you can't hear any of it because this microphone is amazing. Props to Blue for making such a great microphone. If you're looking for a microphone, to do video or audio or just like whatever highly recommend this one great microphone Hey guys, welcome back uh, to today's vlog. Got a lot of editing done, so I'm pretty happy about that. And then spent a bunch of time trying to soften the light in this, the place where I do most of my filming. This just, the light was usually really harsh, but now you can, there's like, it's not. And how I did paper and plastic. Uh, literally took some paper and then just lined it across where the lighting was coming down uh, that was making it so harsh and that softened it up. And then it also dimmed the light a lot in the room. So I had to fix that. And I did that with actually using lighting from one of the businesses that I ran in the past. It's one that I actually traveled around the country and that was selling lamps. So the light's a little bit uneven. I haven't quite figured out the correct placement. It's a, it's a start, happy about that. This is basically what they look like. And I mean, this is what it looks like when it's lit up. It's pretty cool. I mean, it looks, I think it's it's fairly artistic. I just haven't, like I literally had them in storage, hadn't been using them. And then I was like, I have all these things. I gotta fix the lighting. What do I do? And so that's a start. So I figured I might as well take some time and talk a little bit about that company. It's a chunk that I had spent traveling around the country, had some really great experiences, met some amazing people. And it was all because of these guys. So these things are made up of like recycled plastic bottles, I believe it was. Um, and they're really interesting. And it's funny because they look like this when they're not put together. It's literally just this plastic. And people look at it like when, I, when I'm sitting at the table, I'm like, hey, what are those? I'm like, those are lamps. That's not that's not a lamp. And it's, they're right, it's not. The proper term would be calling them a lamp shade because they go over the lamp and then they have they emit this light. It's really interesting looking because they've like these, the swirls end up looking like lit up swirls. It's kind of cool. There are different shapes you can make. I forget all the ones that I used to do. I know there was like a heart, cylindrical tower, square. They're pretty neat. They're also kind of expensive. Sometimes I find it hard to, to believe that some people will like come in and just drop a couple hundred dollars on these lampshades, but they're great decorations. I'm gonna get back to editing now actually. It is another cold day, but um, 